Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to see how the graph of a limousine changes when the number here, the constant in front of the uh, trigonometric function changes. So here we have r equals 1 plus 2 times the cosine of theta. There we have r equals 2 times 2 plus 2 times the cosine of theta. Here we have 3 plus 2 times the cosine of theta. And there we have 4 plus 2 times the cosine of theta. Notice here the number is less than that number. There it's equal. There it's bigger. And there it's twice as big. And you see in each case the, the shape of the limousine will change. So here we have seen this one before. Notice that uh, when the angle is 0 degrees, we're at a range of or a radius of 3. At 90 degrees, it's equal to 1. And at 180 degrees, it's equal to negative 1. So pointing in this direction, we actually have a negative 1 value so that the limousin will look like this. So it comes around like this, comes around like this, like that, and then we change it. And so here we have the what we call the symmetry of it. So that's what it looks like. But what happens now when we have r equals 2 plus 2 times the cosine of theta? Notice that at 180 degrees, the total value is 0. So instead of coming all the way back here, making that little loop, it goes back to the 0 point right there. So what that means is that at 0 degrees, we're at 4. At 90 degrees, we're at 2. So when we come up here, we're at 2. And at 180 degrees, we come down to 0. So that means it comes like this, like this and it just comes back to zero and it doesn't make that loop. It kind of makes a heart shape and then on the symmetry it comes back out like this and, for, and completes the circle like that. So notice it looks a little bit more like a heart shape. You don't have this little uh, circle inside. It stops at zero. It doesn't go negative at 180 degrees. Now when we have three plus two times the cosine of theta, notice that the smallest value you get is one, which means that here you start at a value of five at zero degrees. At 90 degrees, you're down to 3. At 180 degrees, you're down to 1. So it does come in, like, so it does come in, but it kind of makes like a little dimple, a little indentation. It doesn't go all the way back to the origin. And then here, it goes back to here. And then it completes the limousine to there. So it knows there's a little indentation, not all the way down to the origin. If the two numbers are the same, you get back to the origin. But if it's not the same, make a little dimple, but it doesn't come all the way back to the origin. And finally, when we have something where the value here is at least twice the number here, you don't get any indentation at all. Notice that at the zero angle, we're equal to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. At the 90 degree angle, so we come up here, now value of 4. And at the 180 degree angle, we have a value of 2, which is right there. And notice you simply get kind of an oblong circle, but no indentation at all. Come back to 4 and back to over here like that. So it's basically an oblong circle and it does not indent whatsoever. So there you can see the various shape changes simply by changing this constant from 1 to 2 to 3 and then to 4. And notice that in the case that it's at least twice as much, you no longer get indentation. If it's between the same value and twice as much, you get a little indentation. If it's exactly the same value, you get indentation to zero. And then if it's less, then you get that little loop on the inside. And so you can see the differences by simply changing the constant in that Limousin polar equation. That's how we figured it out.